Hi guys, this is Steve. In this tutorial we will go through on how to import and view your link packets. You click on the view or import links. This brings up the link importer screen. And note in that screen we have a number of fields. If we wish to import a single file, we use the source file field, we click the button, choose our file, choose our packet type, then click import single file. If we wish to import a directory of files, we simply click the button here, choose our folder that contains our packets, and import directory after choosing our file format and all of the links within those packets will be imported. Note that you can't import a directory of files if the file packet contains a password. Any password goes in the file password field. This is a list of the current supported file formats that we can import. We've got Terry Kyle's packets. The P against the name means the packet requires a password. And Terry's older packets contain passwords, his newer packets don't. With Steve Heron's packet, this is a CSV text file import. As you can see, the import type is actually on the end of the packet itself. Uh, we have a number of different packets we can actually import. If you look at the last packet at the bottom, text to column CSV, this is for importing our own packets of links. And basically, we create a text file, two columns, comma separated, list, and we import that list in. For example, let's show you at the bottom of this file, we can create a, a site, HTTP, which it must begin with, mysite.com, register equals comma the comma is vitally important and the rank of the site PR PR8 basically we do a full list of these different sites we, we choose our and save this as a CSV file my packets.csv We would choose the source file here, import single file, and all it did to get imported. The other features of the screen is we've got to select all, select none for the packets themselves, and we have a list of existing packets we've already imported, which contain some default packets in the software. And for example, Katoons, Nuclear Link Buster booster packet that we've actually imported before. If we wish to add to that, we would choose our file, import the links, choose the packet list of links we already have, click use this link group and it saves all these to our current list. If we un uncheck this, click save selected links, it saves it to a brand new link group for those links. So let's import some packets. Source file. I've already got a link to these. So I will use Terry Kyle's latest PDF. I need to choose Terry Kyle. Import single file. 
there's lots of links so this may take 30 seconds or so links loaded we get our link count note I've blurred the link list out to protect the copyright of Terry's packets so we click save selected links link group comes up we'll call these Terry Kyle 2.1 click save this will save all our links to the database as there are lots of links this may take 30 to 40 seconds so I'll pause the video while these links save welcome back guys when we import our links it will only save a link a single time and you'll get a list of the links that have, have not been saved as you don't want duplicate, duplicate links within the software we only actually want our links to appear once and register those links once as well so we get this selected link failure it tells us how many links we've imported which links already exist and that's basically it we can if we wish just select certain links for example if we've got some if we create a link group that's for PR9 links we may only want to select PR9 links so we can actually do a select none click the ones we want and then we can actually save to a group or not and our new link group will actually be in our drop down list this time we can actually import a folder the process is exactly the same so let's choose Angela's links Angela's November links we need to choose Angela from the list import directory and then as we can see it's imported 31 links as there was a special link in the November packet same as before we can actually choose from the list which obviously has been blurred out or we can actually save select the links to save to a new group or you may have an Angela group it's totally up to you if we take a password protected file this time we'll take Jason's twenty four hour links dot com packet and we'll choose that as you can see the square P means it needs a password so let's add in a password import single file and the links are imported and we save as before and that's how we import links